guys, today I want to do a little shop update. I'm going to do a 360 of the garage here and show you what's going on. Basically what happened is I got rid of my other box, the brand new one. The wife was uh, had a really smart suggestion. They might have a return policy. So guess what? I was able to return the box, get full credit back, zero loss there. And then uh, I was able to actually start moving around inside the, the garage here. That box was so freaking big. Uh, it was hard to even get in here to do anything, but with the cold weather, just didn't want to be out here. I was getting a lot of administrative stuff done on the business. So what I want, want to do today is like a 360, a little walk around, show you what I'm starting off with, and then we're gonna give you a little progress of uh, you know what the shop looks like after I get it set up. And then as you know, time goes on, I do more stuff in the garage here to get stuff more solid and secure. We'll do uh, shop updates throughout the year. But I just want to give you an initial update, and then I'll show you afterwards what it looks like once I have it actually set up. Right now it's a pile of tools out here, so uh, uh, let's go for it. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is my guard dogs I have employed here. They're going to watch over the shop and watch my back as I'm working on cars. You can see they're ultra, ultra vicious. Look at them. Anyways, <laughs> what I have basically is this corner over here to work in as far as a workbench, toolbox, storage of parts, kits, all that kind of stuff. You can see it's just totally, totally trashed right now. And the reason for that is everything from my work, all these cardboard, all kinds of stuff just kind of got thrown in here. And then there was that huge box right here blocking everything. And then it's been really cold here. So I had to empty that box and return it and everything kind of went on the bench. So it's not usually like that. I need to start organizing it and putting it in back in my old box, which is just fine. It fits everything in there, except for the kits right there, which can go right next to the workbench. So we'll start from over here and we'll go on over. And uh, eventually, this spring or something like that, I want to rock the walls here in the garage. There's only a few walls that are left to rock. Um, I'll do the uh, mudding and taping myself, and they'll have someone come in and do all the painting, especially the ceiling. I uh, do not like looking up and painting. They can do it themselves. So uh, we'll start off over here, and I'll show you all the stuff that I, I brought with me. I, it's surprising how much stuff you, you accumulate over the years, but yeah, it's just everywhere in here. I have all my, my brake bleeders and other little tools in here, my welding gloves, straps, Timing gun, you can see it there. See that Craftsman timing gun? All my little uh, tools and picks and dials and my known good parts I have in here for testing purposes. My little test probes and relays from modules I've changed over the years. Known good relays. And then some extra spare gaskets and stuff like that from the cars over the years. So that's nice to have all the stuff I brought with me. I got my plastic creepers for the ground to get underneath the cars when there's low clearance. And then I have my uh, my uh, seat cushion there for uh, working on top of engines and all that. And I got my drag link right there from an E150, something like that, for prying. So I got that. I didn't forget that. And then over here, what else we got? Um, of course, I gotta have my box of terminals from all the harnesses I've changed over the years. And then my Ford specific bolts and, and stuff like that. They're all in there from extras, parts over the years as you fix vehicles. And then some more known good parts. Maybe a, a switch in there I change out that has a lighting issue. The back lighting of the switch doesn't work, but the rest of it does. So I keep that kind of stuff. Um, so that I have a, a something that's easy to swap out and test with known good parts makes diagnosis a lot more accurate and uh, and fast in a lot of uh, a lot of times. And then down here, I have a a small compressor and some airline, okay. And then I have a bigger compressor, like a twenty gallon tank. What I want to do is this one works just fine. I want to have another twenty gallon tank just underneath here somewhere, and then we'll splice two together. We have like forty gallons of air. And like I said, I have all those electric tools now, so I really shouldn't need that much air. So I have all this stuff already. You can see. So there's a lot of stuff I already have, and. Um, I got jack stands, I got six jack stands for these vehicles, and I recently, about a year or two ago, I bought a Craftsman Jack, so I got that, good quality brand new jack, 
that I can use. Got my creeper, my friend bought me that a while back. And then up here you can see these are all my friggin' tools from my box that I had to get out of there and return the other box quickly uh, that I need to fit all in here. So you, believe it or not, all these tools, these hand tools, they fit very comfortably in that box right there. I got some uh, tools from my father-in-law that died in there right now uh, that I just need to clear out and get all my work stuff back in there. And you can see that box fits so perfectly right in that little niche right there next to the shelving and all that. And of course, next to my bench here. And I built this bench a while ago when we first moved in the house, like a two by six right here, all the way around. It's super reinforced, even down the center underneath in there. And then I got support here. And then of course it's bolted to the wall all the way along. So it's super, super strong. I can stand up on top of there and walk around as nice and creak. So that'd be perfect. Get a, get a vise on the edge here, bolt it in nice and strong. Maybe get a, a grinder right here, right? You know, a wire wheel bench grinder type deal. Have that all set up and I got the rest of this will be clear except for that corner for working on anything I'm working on. And the corner is gonna have all these kits and stuff. And then I got all this stereo equipment that is, you know, decent quality. I actually owned this stuff back in the day. I gave it to my mother and then of course she passed away as most of you know. So I got all that stuff back. And I could change out this radio right here, which has a couple different problems. They got that from Goodwill for the sound system out here. These speakers are actually uh, from Goodwill also. A couple of years ago I got them, and they sound really, really good. So I just need a quality stereo uh, to, to plug everything into. And I can put my iPod into there, listen to satellite radio, all kinds of stuff. I have a good sound system out here too. And then, of course, I have tons of different fans, uh, some Vornado fans, some... Uh, tower fans and I might get one of those big um, circular type fans for the ground like on the ground that's blow on you maybe even a swamp cooler in here if I really need uh, something like that now as far as the floor in here it's really been uh, epoxy coated and it looks pretty dirty right now but it actually is a pretty decent floor for being seven yeah, six seven years old since I, I epoxy coated it myself it's just pretty dirty from all the snow and garbage here from the roads so once it's all cleared out of here and we get out of winter here, it's going to look really nice and going to be a nice clean floor to work on. But I'm starting to go out and get stuff, you know. You guys are helping with all donations and all that stuff. Get my shop all set up. I appreciate that a lot. And I'm buying stuff like this. Stuff like this mounts for the wall for my propane and map gas. So I can put them on the wall and they're locked in there, kind of secure, make it nice and safe out here. I'm going to have to get a fire extinguisher out here. It's obvious. And mount all that stuff to the wall and get it set up really nice out here. Get me uh, some, maybe some airline ports in the wall right here. Pipe it in up to the wall here and have a port that can plug into the wall for the airlines. And instead of having them wrapped around all the time over there, I'll see what happens with that. And then, uh, you know, I have stuff like this. This I bought myself. It's a pole jack. It's good for holding up lift gates when they have strut problems or whatever. And you're changing glass or brackets or whatever. It's nice to have. And then over here, of course, I got my heater for the garage. This little thing, well, it's 35,000 BTU. It's got a freaking jet fan in there. It works off of propane, so it's nice and clean compared to kerosene. And this thing, I heat the garage from the negatives outside um, to a very, where it's comfortable enough and you can work in the garage with just a light sweater on, maybe not even that. And, you know, maybe eventually up and over here, right in that corner, be nice to hang a unit from the ceiling and have a natural gas one here with venting and a lot even cleaner that way. But for right now, this thing, this thing does just fine. Actually, it's off right now because it's getting too warm in here. So uh, heat's not an issue in here either. You've got a nice insulated door. It's a newer home. So uh, there's not all kinds of drafts coming in here. Now, as far as shop lighting, whoa, look at that. It's nice and bright, right? Um, I did put up four lights in here about a year or two ago. I guess I was kind of getting ready for this, to tell you the truth. And uh, it's nice and bright in here, as you can see. See the dogs there? Yeah, I'm talking about you dogs. But maybe I'll put in like some more, uh, like over here. You know, I'll put another one and two there. Maybe put six in here total. So I have even light all the way around. And I can really see what the heck I'm doing. And then I have some shop lights already. I have plenty of stick lights. 
uh, like this one right here. I'll be doing a review on that soon. And then, of course, I got that sweet light that is supposedly really awesome uh, from Milwaukee. I'll have to test that puppy out, too, and really put that to use. All right, so I just want to let you guys see what I have to work with in here, see what the shop looks like, stuff like that. Just see how uh, trashed it is there. You can see that. That's what happens when you empty a box uh, that quick, though. So I figure a couple of jobs a month in here, no big deal. Keep it calm, keep it quiet. Why not even do a couple of jobs for free per month? And just help people out. There's a lot of people struggling. They can't afford to even, you know, uh, fix the heat in their car or whatever. And for those kinds of customers, why not do it for a very cheap or just do it for free? Uh, just help people out. I like to uh, help people and it comes naturally to me. And of course, I like to work on cars. So um, why not do both and do some good for the world?